much. So good to see you. This is Sean McLeod with Kirsten and Andrea. Uh, Sean is the president and CEO of the New York Institute of Dance and Education. He's also the corporate facilitator for Reaching for Higher Ground Consulting. If you leave your house, if you leave your house and you go across someplace else and you don't have a destination, you are not on vacation. You are lost. You must know where you're going. And even if you decide halfway in route to change direction, that's acceptable. But you must have a destination when you leave. A destination of thought, a destination of time, a destination of investment energy. Are you with me? Who's going to be brave enough to raise their hand and tell me why you are here? Um, I'm in this class to kind of be like a sponge and absorb all the knowledge I can. Mm -hmm. to be with you. Cool. What is the key to being a sponge and absorbing all the knowledge around you? What's the key? Uh, listening. Nope. Who can tell him what the key is? What's the key? Listen to what he said. He used an analogized thought process, right? He said his objective is to be a sponge and to suck up all that surrounding. Yes, sir. Uh, being open-minded. Well, not close, but nope. Come on. He said he's a sponge and his objective is to absorb everything around him. Yes, dear. Actually doing that. Well, not close, but nope. You must ring out. What happens to a sponge that's already saturated? There is no absorption. There is no absorption. You must ring out. You must ring out. I imagine most of you in this room are full sponges. You have this really cool concept of what it is that you think. Do you ever watch TV and you listen to somebody on TV and you go, oh no, that, they're wrong. Sponge is full. The other part is that you must share as much as you get, if not share more than you get. Because that is the way, my brother, that you bring out. By giving away what you know. When you give away what you know, you will inadvertently challenge yourself to actually know better what you know. Because you're teaching it to somebody else. And inadvertently, you'll start to realize that what you thought you knew really well, you don't know as well as you thought you did. Because someone will do something magical for you. You know what they're going to do? What are they going to do for you? They're going to ask you a question. They're going to ask you a question. And they're going to ask you a question that have not been asked to you before. And that question will momentarily befuddle you. And then you will have, in that moment, true creation. You are going to have to stop and think about what they said and you're going to have to put it in the contextual reference, and then you're going to have to answer. And that is innovative creativeness. So I believe that your intellect and that your vision is equal to mine. The one thing that I have that you perhaps don't have at this point is experience. And experience is nothing but time served. Right? But innovation is an idea, courage, and the will and excitement to jump in and try. And I bet you have that in droves. These relationships are everything. Make sense? Good. Okay. One of you people in this room is the next Steve Jobs. <laughs> One of you are. Could be two of you. It could be all of you. Only thing it takes is effort and a dream. Anybody in here dream? If you don't give it a chance, you'll never know the glories that you can find just by trying.